What's happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode. Out today, you can see a little bit different scenery here. Out at Grandpa's farm, come down to visit, see what he's doing, do a little grilling out. But I figured while I'm down here, he's got you know quite a few uh, quite a few acres here to play with. So I figured, why not do a casting test? I did one of these earlier this year with some hundred dollar reels. Today's going to be a little bit different. I've kind of got a gambit. We've got the more affordable budget reels all the way up to some stuff that's a little bit more expensive up to about 200 bucks let me show you the reels okay so the rod that i'm going to be using for the test is the dobbins caden rod the stats on this rod seven foot one rated for lures up to three quarter of an ounce now the lure we're using is this little guy here we've used that before that's three eighths of an ounce i put that on the scale you can see there three eighths ounce that little dude there i cut the hook off of it so we're not catching the grass that's what we're using to cast the first one we're going to start with is the Pisifen Alloy M. So this is a $79 reel. Like I said, we're going to kind of go up the list. We've got the $99 Luz LFS. The, I believe this is still like 129, something like that. The SLX XT. We move up to the $150 price point, the Revo SX. Nice reel. I haven't had this out lately, so that'll be interesting to see how that one compares. This is one I have to thank my buddy Philip Cheek for. Uh, he actually sent this reel in for testing, using. Uh, I'm interested to see how it's going to do. It's by Bruin. This is the Paul Elias, uh, is it like the Legend series reel, something like that? Nice reel, I think this is like 179. I haven't got a cast it yet, so I'm interested to see. Kind of reminds me of one of the Abus. Comment below if you know which one that looks like, but it looks very similar. And then last up is the $200 Daiwa Tatula Elite. So that's the 7.1 speed, nice reel. Um, I've really liked that for casting. So we're gonna see, we've got kind of the, the budget ranging up to stuff a little bit more expensive. Comment below before you watch any of this, which one do you think is gonna win the casting distance test? I don't know, let's see. In front of us here, we've got the uh, the 200 foot tape measure set up. You can see all the way, going all the way out there. Stubby's gonna help us with it. Stubby, are you gonna run the camera out there? Nah, Pops is here. He's gonna be the uh, the camera guy down there for me. So I'm gonna throw the GoPro on, uh, get ready here, do some casting. Dad's gonna take this, the big camera, go down there. Let's see which one of these wins. All right, here we go. Cast number one. We got a little bit of a side wind coming in this way at us, so hopefully it doesn't affect it too much, but you can see I'm at zero. Here we go, cast one. Okay, so 117. All right, here we go. Cast number two, Alloy M. Uh, just short of 118. Let's see, that was like 117, 118. Okay, we're consistent here. Ooh, that one had a little bit of a backlash part of the way in between there. So you're about 108. 108? 108. Yikes, went down 10 feet on that one. Stubby. All right, had to get the dog. He was wrapped up in cords and everything else. Kind of a circus out here trying to do this. Okay, cast number four. Here we go. And that's 120, 121. Okay, cast number four. That was the best with the uh, the Alloy M, 121. I hit 130 in testing before. That's interesting. All right, here we go. Cast number five with the Pisifin Alloy M. Ooh, that was a good one. 121 and a half, almost 122. Okay, so we're gonna say 121 and a half, 122. All right, let's uh, let's switch reels. Okay, done with the Alloy M. Next up, we're gonna go, so step up. So 79 up to the $99 Luz LFS. One of my favorite $100 reels. Awesome little workhorse. Let's see how this does. Yes, it is a lefty. I use both left and right hand reels. Doesn't matter to me. So let's get this one on and uh, go see. All right, cast number one, Luz LFS. Ooh, a little bit of an overrun there. Yikes. So about 131 feet. 131. We've got the crosswind, so it's kind of blowing over across us here. So it's not really helping it or hurting it. It's kind of taking it sideways. All right, cast two. Hundred and twenty three feet six inches. All right, so I was test casting before I was trying to get you know the reel dialed in. And I was hitting like 130, 135, 138, and that was 120 something. Strange. Okay, here we go. Cast number three. That's better. So that's uh, 129 and a half. 
That's what I thought is maybe we'd range right about in 130 average. Okay, so this one is casting better average than the Pisifin. Let's see. All right, cast number four. One twenty-three. Last one. Let's see if we can get a good bomb here. I tightened up uh, my spool tension just a little bit. I loosened it right in testing, so maybe we'll see. Maybe this will keep it going a little bit better. Fifth and final cast with the LFS. One twenty-six. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well. That's the LFS. I thought we were going to be in the 130s that whole time. Now we're going to go over $100 to the Shimano SLX XT. I know this is going to be a fan favorite. Everybody loves the SLX series for good reason. Great little reels. We'll see how the uh, the distance compares to the other two. Let's get it on and go. Casting distance. Now Shimano's aren't really known to be like the greatest distance casting reels. You know, more of a refined feel and it definitely is it, it you know for that hundred dollar price point they are a nice smooth little reel so let's see how casting compares so first cast with the slx xt 125 107 short okay so lfs was blowing that out of the water that's crazy and I was trying to really dial this in before. Let's go. Okay, cast number two. 112. Cast number two. 111. Wow, got a ways to get to 120, interesting. And these do have the centrifugal brakes. I can try taking it down to one. I've got two on right now. Let's, let's see how it goes here. This could be Backlash City. Hopefully not. Okay, cast number three with the SLX XT with only one internal brake on. Hopefully we don't blow this up. Oh, yikes. Okay, we can't go down to one brake. So that's the difference from going to one internal, or from going from two down to one. It absolutely blew that thing all sorts of up. Okay, so I got the backlash picked out. Now, I adjusted the side brakes. I turned those up to three. So the magnetic brakes I've got on three, the internal I only put one brake on. So let's go here. This will be cast. Is this three? three? Okay, three. I might do a couple extra here. We'll see how three goes. So that's about 108 feet. So I just had three 114s in a row. I thought I was dialed in. Here we go. Let's try it again. There we go. 109. After I got that backlash picked out, I just had three 114s in a row. Let's turn that brake down just a little bit and see. That's really where I feel like I should be at. I was consistently there. 128 feet 128 feet like how do i go from 109 to 128 okay so we're gonna call 128 does that cast four i'm gonna say yeah. this one's gonna be kind of skewed uh, i don't even know where i'm gonna go on this one i don't know if it's because of that side wind 128's been the longest one this one's got all right last cast with it fifth and final one here we go 117. 117. All right. 117 on the fifth and final cast with the SLX XT. Okay. That one's kind of all over the place. We're going to talk about that. Okay. Done with the XT. We're moving on to the mid 150 price point, the Revo SX. I feel like this is a reel that doesn't get a lot of love. I honestly haven't used it a ton, but it's a reel that I've liked. Uh, it's comfortable, cast well. We're going to see how it compares to some of these other ones. Get it out. Give her a go. Let's get it done. Okay, reel number four, Revo SX. Just got it tuned in. I think we're good to go here now. Inside, I've only got two of the internal centrifugal brakes on. It's just these little guys here that you click either on or off inside. So I've got two of those on. External brakes are set about halfway for magnetic and then spool tension just so it took out that side to side play. So here we go. Cast one with the SX. 
cast one with the SX. 130 feet, six inches. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, of course, there is some user error here. Stubby, you don't like that cast? Stubby doesn't agree with it. Okay, cast two. Cast number two. One hundred and thirty one feet pretty consistent at 130 and that's why I was guessing dad and I were talking before this where we thought they'd land I was thinking with these reels with a 3 8 ounce lure I was thinking 15 pound line about 130 feet so we'll see we'll see if we can beat 130 getting 140 with any of these cast three One hundred and twenty-nine feet. This has been a consistent caster, at least for us. That's easy to measure. All right, here we go. Cast number four, Revo SX. One hundred and thirty-nine. Okay, so we're one thirty-five. Five more foot, and we hit that one forty mark. One thirty-five. Okay. All right, here we go. Fifth and final cast with the Revo SX. 135 again. 135 again. All right, well, so far the SX was the best caster and most consistent. Okay, so far this is uh, this is the best, most consistent, the Revo SX. Next is one that I have honestly had no sort of uh, time playing with. My guy Philip uh, has really liked this. He sent it into the channel for testing. Appreciate that so much. We'll see how this one casts. It's got uh, two different brake deals here. It's got a like a brake dial for your uh, like the internal. Uh, the only part that stinks is you have to take a screwdriver to pull this out to get this side plate off, but you don't need to get in there. So it's got the uh, like your external dial for your magnetics, and then in here is your centrifugal. You can either set it at one, two, or three, and I'll give you a little bit better close-up shot of this. I ended up putting the centrifugal brakes on two, and then the magnetics I've only got set down to about three. We're going to see here, maybe three or four, just about between those two, three and a half. All right, first cast with the Bruin. First cast with the Bruin. 124 feet. 124. All right, cast number two with the Bruin. Cast number two. 125 feet. 125, okay, now a test cast, I was like 28, 29, 30. So that's interesting. Seems like when I get the camera on, I must get like a little camera shy or something here. I drop a few feet. All right, cast number three. Cast number three is 126 feet. 126, all right, I'm barely stepping up each one. Is it a mental thing? Do I, do I have no pressure when the camera's not on me? I can cast farther? I don't know, all right. Cast number four with the Bruin. Cast number four. 127. 127, all right, I clicked the brakes down two little notches. It's got a number of different uh, notches here. I don't know how many exactly. I haven't got to play with this real much. This is literally my first time touching it or using it, but the external dial, I don't know how many different clicks it's got there. I turn it down two little clicks, so now it's on two and a half instead of three and a half. So that took it down about one brake power. Hopefully I don't blow it up here. Fifth and final cast with the Paul Bruin Paul Elias signature reel. Cast number five. Okay, we are at 128. 
128, all right, not bad, pretty consistent. We stepped up, I think, on every cast. First one we've done that on. Okay, so done with the Bruin, $179 reel. It actually feels pretty good. I was uh, I was pretty impressed with it, and I, like we said, $170, $170 reel, so it should be doing well casting. Um, I need to play with it more, but I'm, I'm liking the reel a lot. Thank you again, Philip, Mr. Cheek, for sending that in. Now, finally, the Daiwa Tattoo Elite, a reel that's known to be a pretty dang good caster. Let's see how this baby does. Um, I've got the brakes on right about nine is where I found to be the sweet spot, it seems like. So again, 15 pound Omniflex monofilament. Uh, of course, we could get you know more casting distance if we went over to a braid or something like that. And again, our little 3 8 ounce lure um, on the scale, this whole thing right here, 3 8 of an ounce. So not going very heavy. You know, if we had like a, a half ounce top water or something, we could be getting more distance, but this is just kind of a, a practical 3 8 ounce lure, seeing how this does. So. Cast number one with the Daiwa Tatula Elite. Okay, cast number one. One twenty six. Can we break one thirty with the Elite? Now, theoretically, this should be the best caster out of the bunch. Daiwa said this is a a good casting reel. Can we break that? We'll see. Cast number two. Cast number two. Cast number two. 125. 125, then you can feel that disc. It's got a little uh, disc in there that goes in between the magnet. Can really feel it come out, and then it kind of loosens off, which is what those brakes are meant to do. And then you can kind of feel it free spool, so. If I went down much more than that, I noticed today with just a little bit of the side wind, it was wanting to fluff up and backlash a little bit. So if it was dead calm, I might be able to get a little bit more distance, but all right, cast three. Cast number three. One twenty four. I really would have guessed we would have been in the one thirties with this. A little bit more weight maybe, a little bit lighter line. Again, this is 15 pound Omniflex Mono, so it's not the, the softest, you know, smallest diameter. So keep that in mind as well. All right, cast four. Cast number four. 133 feet. 133, we broke 130 foot mark. Nice, 133, okay, let's see. Fifth and final cast, can we get a, a good bomb out of this one? Stubby! All right, fifth and final cast, Daiwa Tatula Elite. Here we go. One hundred and thirty feet three inches. All right, Fisher friends, let's take a look at the results. Now, I think people are going to be surprised by the ranking on this. I know I certainly was. Uh, now, what I've done is I've taken all five casts of each reel, added them up, divided by five, and got the average right to see how these reels kind of averaged out. I told Dad to kind of round on some of these. Again, this isn't a hundred percent scientific to the exact inch. It's just to kind of give us an idea. I could have spent hours out there. You know, I could have taken fifty casts on each one and took the five best. This is just kind of real world application, you know, taking maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes to dial a reel in and see what I could get for, for distances. So number six in last place out of these six reels was the Shimano SLX XT. Now, funny enough, uh, this reel actually had six total casts for. Apparently my counting skills uh, are subpar. I'm getting old, I guess. But if I drop the shortest cast, which was 107 feet, the five cast average on that was 114.6 feet, only 114 feet. Pops and I talked beforehand, he said, what, what do you think you're gonna run in like for, for distance? And I thought all these, I would say 110-ish to 130. However, I thought more of these would be closer to that 130 range, so. Number five, the Pisifin Alloy M, 117.2 feet. It did have a couple in the 122 feet range. Oh, and on the SLX XT, it was interesting because I did have one cast that went 128 feet on that. I think I went from 109 feet to 128 feet. So obviously there's some some user dummy Debo error in here, you know, trying to make each cast as, you know, the exact same as I can, but obviously when there's a human uh, interference, you can't be 100% exact. So again, all you scientific people out there are gonna say, this isn't scientific, this guy's a dummy. Well, 
Again, this is just kind of my roundabout casting averages. I'm a nerd and this is fun. Okay, fourth place is the Bruin. Now this is a reel I really didn't know anything about. Again, shout out to Mr. Cheek for uh, lending me this reel. 126 feet was the five cast average. And funny enough, it went 124, 25, 26, 27, 28 on each cast. So I went up a foot every single cast. Um, that was the only reel that did that. I, I don't know how, I didn't, but I didn't plan it, uh, but it was pretty cool. In third place was the Lose. Again, I've told you all before. Now, I'm not sponsored by any of these. I'm not, none of these people are paying me to say this. Um, I've said it before, you know, Lose is that $99 LFS is one of the best $99 reels out there. Um, it's five cast average was 126.6 feet, so only 0.6 more than the uh, than the Bruin. Uh, in second place, which this really surprised me, it was the Daiwa Tattoo Elite. I thought for sure this would be real number one. You know, Daiwa talks about this being a long distance caster. You know, maybe if I put more time in with it, uh, you know, and tinkered with it more, but still pretty good average on it. Had a couple over 130 feet, 127. 0.6 feet was the five cast average. So if you all would have asked me before, that's the most expensive reel. I would have figured it would have been number one uh, in the lead by quite a bit. Uh, 200, and I, I kept saying in the video 200, I think that's actually like a $240 reel, now that I think about it. Um, the Daiwa Tattoo Elite. So number one, the sleeper of the group for sure, a reel that I haven't put in loads and loads of time in with. You know, it's a. I thought it was a pretty solid all around reel, but it's the Abu Garcia Revo SX. Pretty crazy, 132 feet. It was the only reel that averaged over 130 feet. And that kind of blew me away. I thought we would have a few of these uh, in that 130 foot average. So 132 feet was the five cast average on that. It only had one cast at 129 feet that was less than 130 feet. So I don't know, comment below and let me know what you all think. Is this, uh, are these casting tests fun? It's getting cold here in Iowa, fishing's uh, dying off quite a bit so i might do another one of these i've got some other reels but comment below and let me know if you like this stuff and there's any is there anything you would like me to change when you see these comment below and let me know do you think there's there's one out of this bunch you like does this kind of change your view on anything i'm i'm happy with the uh, the lose lfs where it was at i thought it would be one of the top performers it's i mean it's a great all-around reel uh, I was kind of surprised by the Pisifin. Uh I didn't think it would do that well, being the, the most budget reel of the group. Uh, but again, I think most people are going to be surprised by the SLX XT. It's a great reel. Feels really good. It was, uh, you know, easy to get dialed in. I did try dropping the internal brakes, but, you know, once I, I turned that back up and everything, I mean, these reels, they're all good reels. And it was interesting to see where they're at. So that's enough for me. Comment below and let me know what you think. I'll, I'll have all the reels linked below. Uh, but that's enough for me. I got to get out of here and edit. Uh, it's already like midnight. I'm kind of going insane from editing, but uh, I got to do the videos because I love all you and appreciate you all. So today's subscribe feature friend, uh, Philip Cheek for sending in the Bruin Reel. Uh, I appreciate you, sir. You've done a lot for the channel and everybody else out there who continues to watch. I appreciate y'all, dang it. So that's enough for me. Thanks for watching. And until next time.